Let's simplify this question. We'll first separate the fifth term between all those terms in the denominator part. So that's 1 over fifth root of 4 times fifth root of y power 5 times fifth root of x power 2. In our next step, we have 1 over fifth root of 4. 4 can be written as 2 power 2 times fifth root and y power 5 gets cancelled. So that's y times fifth root of x power 2 remain same. Now we have 1 over, let's join the both fifth roots together. So that's fifth root of 2 power 2 and x power 2 under 1 root times y equals. Now we have 1 over y times fifth root of 2 power 2 x power 2 and we are rationalizing this denominator by multiplying fifth root of 2 power 3 times x power 3 over fifth root of 2 power 3 x power 3. Now we have fifth root of 2 power 3 is nothing but 8 times x power 3 over we have under the fifth root we have 2 power 5 and x power 5 they get cancelled and we are now left with 2x times y which is our final answer.